Okay, welcome everyone. Let's will start our new unit, which we are going to start strategic marketing, which is meant by the long term, and the marketing is mean key focus is satisfying the customer needs and what. So today we'll go through LO one. Each lesson will go through one LO, one learning outcome. So today lesson will be focus on LO one. Okay, so LO one is about uh, which we we have in LO one key command verb. Always good to be there. Word will be used explain. Word will be used analyze and word will be used evaluate because it's a level seven course and more mostly we focus more about the evaluate things where we can look around and we can compare, contrast, and evaluate. Okay, so that will be the key. Okay, so indicative content what we supposed to be learn uh, will go through the role of marketing will discuss various uh, underpinning principles and the theories uh, will go through the corporate strategy and marketing strategy what is the key difference between them will discuss develop a marketing strategies how we can make it in this changing world because we rapidly the things are changing because we're living in a global village and the way in the strategies can be competitive and they are create the competitive advantage that's all will be focused here are few links quite useful always i include so it's quite good to be you can read in your own time just copy and paste these links and you can read further okay so 1.1 1 .1, we have uh, our assessment criteria where we look you know the relationship between corporate strategy and marketing strategy so word strategy is draw uh, drive us from the word strategist is a Greek word which normally we use in uh, used to be in a lot in military where we encounter our enemies and but is quite popular and mostly we use in academia now huh? because we have a competition as well and we always you know have a huge you know competition with the organization so corporate strategy mean overall the strategy of as an organization so mark strategy should be linked with it. So always you we not contradict. We know what is meant by mission. Yeah. We all know mission. Oh yeah. Is, is there any difference between mission and vision? Yeah, vision is uh, what you uh, focus at down the lane. This is what you want to achieve. Mission is uh, for the Current, let's say that uh, my mission is to um, conquer this uh, assignment, and then vision is that I would like to see myself uh, taking a degree in this particular course. So vision will be over a time period. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So mission is why you are in the business, and we mm -hmm. really where you want to see yourself in future, where mm -hmm. you want to. So mission always. So missions we need to be not contradict. We are a lot of you know like uh, education provider. Their mission is we are here to serve the nation. We are here to develop you know the people of the next generation. So are we are want to be uh, develop the skills in uh, in our students. So these are all the missions. So if we want, uh, we're not supposed to contradict. We like we'll go through you know a few companies mission we'll look you know in detail and they sometime they always contradict we treat the like you know the we have a Tesco here is quite big supermarket in the UK so they said uh, we treat people like to be treated and we always exceed from the customer expectation we treat people like to be treated and but. Actually, when you are not paying the right salary your workers, you are not giving the flexible working hours. You uh, uh, you you manipulating profit 180 million and you showing 220 million, and then you using the creative accounting. So it it meant by now you not, you own contradict with your mission. Yes, how you can exceed the customer expectation when you when you actually not satisfying your own stuff 
so we not supposed to be contradict our own missions uh, our own values so in the direction of the organization take objective achieving business success in the long run these and approaches are focused on the company's adopt anticipate the changes of course we have to change our strategies according to environment the four main types of growth strategies horizontal integration vertical integration diversification of growth strategies and how they become um sorry anjum i'm not sure if uh, you guys can hear this music in the background okay but no no that's fine i'm not able to hear anything we can, if we need to so okay so the overall scope and direction of the organization so it can be growth stability and retrenchment so that's all we'll discuss more in detail further so marketing planning marketing planning is a series of activities which tackle in the logical sequence so lo- logical sequence in a way which lead a setting of the marketing objective so always we need to look around we have to develop the program to meet it like a mcdonald and other one author the authors you know marketing planning for the service they mention the scope of marketing is a broad it's not narrow marketing is not a sale marketing means satisfying the customer needs and wants marketing is identifying meeting these needs through profitably which will go through your definition in a minute and known business as well as the business context achieving marketing effectiveness depend upon the organization adopting play systematic approach conducting the market we need to be look around what is happening what sort of the changes happen and then we need to make a marketing plan accordingly so corporate and the business and the marketing planning corporate plan involve applying the business planning to the several different unit business plan involve other resources and must brought be as to the identify the market and marketing plan based on the market customer and the product that's the key focus okay corporate strategies versus the marketing strategy so marketing strategy is a part of corporate strategy so as a corporation it's not we should be in the same direction if our pathways and the corporate pathway is different or the way we thinking different we can't really achieve our all objective sorry can you hear me Samrat, we can't hear you. I think so. Maybe he's talking. Uh, hello, Amjid. Can you hear me? Okay, you can mute. Ah, huh? let's please. If we have a sorry, back- sorry about that. Yeah, so oh, no, okay so principle for the success of strategy strategy must be fit with the environment what is environment covid 19 yes environment change with lot of people buying online if our strategy mm-hmm. we not selling online how we can yes we can't be successful so we need to be changed so effectiveness is more important than eff- efficiency what is meant by effectiveness anybody study 3 e's concept before no so 3 e's effectiveness mean whatever the benchmark we have if we want to measure somebody's performance do we know the performance how we can measure performance always equal to time cost and quality performance equal to and cost quality quality so if we have like somebody will take 10 minutes to make one unit yes 
take one kg of material yes for suppose yes to make one unit mm -hmm. and then quality 90% of these product are customer satisfaction so this is my benchmark for suppose yes so if we yeah. are meeting the benchmark we are effective we according to the industry average if we are above mm -hmm. the benchmark instead of 10 minutes somebody is using uh, taking 9 minutes yes still mm -hmm. taking 1 kg of material and 90% customer are satisfied so in that case we are very economical yes compared to the industry average if we are taking for let's say 8 minutes and instead of 1 kg we are using let's say 0.9 kg yes because we reducing the waste and then instead of 90% customer satisfied, 95% customer are satisfied with our service. So we are very efficient. Yes. So we need to be effective is more important than efficiency. So, you know, effective means that's at least benchmark, you know, hitting up. Huh? That's meant by speed. We need to be look around how we can important of being first and establish the market share. Adaptation organization need to be adopt. Yes, environment is quite crucial. Otherwise, we can't successful as a company. element of competitive strategies. We need to be focused on the product. Product function performance, technical development. Packaging, service level, range of extension. Yes, all we need to be customer. We need to be focused on customer target. We're searching customer needs by segment. Segmentation means dividing total market into the small elements. Distribution. Do we know marketing mix? Have we studied before marketing mix? No. Yeah. Uh, what those are four P's. The four P's, yeah. Product, price, uh, product, price, promotion, and place. And no new concept yeah. is seven P's. For the P's, people, physical evidence, which is mean all physical surrounding environment. And we'll need to look around the processes as well. Mm. Okay, that's its extended mix is seven P's instead of four P's. Okay, that's we need to. Advertising and promotion. We need to look around the target audience. We need to look around the sales force. We need to be focused on the manufacturing. Yes, where we can look around quality management, TQM. Do we know TQM? Ever study TQM? No. It's called Total Quality mm. Management. Huh? So TQM means Total Quality Management. Okay, what is a strategy? The marketing strategy is a section of your business plan. Outline your overall game plan, what you will do. Find the clients, customer for your business. Strategy focus on you want to achieve for your business and marketing efforts. Marketing plan detail, you will achieve those goals. Four P P's, which we discussed, product price, product that meet the needs and the wants of customer. What price is pricing strategy, skimming, penetration, low or high, our behavior, our psychological price, or the cost per supplies, place where we can sell the convenience, location, and the promotion, which promotion channel. So marketing mix can be divided into the four groups, variable commonly known as four P's. Huh? So all this we need to be focused in our strategies as well. So different. Uh, pricing strategies, all these leads to the overall marketing strategy. No? Any question if you have, please you can ask. Huh?
so marketing strategy is mean marketing goal is to be achieved huh? we have a target market reaching through programs different and we need to apply marketing strategy role to provide the direction to marketing activities that's we need to do. we need to be focus on create the function do we know the functional area what is meant by functional area in every organization we have a departments yes mm -hmm. like we have a finance we have marketing we have a production so these are known as a functional area yes we can't function yeah. if we don't work as a single unit yes so like we have to work mm -hmm. as a uh we all know ford motors yes ford cars anybody heard about henry ford yeah, yeah of course okay mm -hmm. so henry ford said about team work coming together is a beginning keeping to gather is a progress and working together is a success so if we want really success we have to work together huh? so as a team so as in the uh, so we need to be make sure as a organization we need to be work as a single unit all the functional area all activity should be in the same direction okay marketing concept however guide the way in the organization operate the product in the market consists of tangible intangible do we know tangible intangible no what is the difference between tangible intangible okay tangible the thing which have the physical substance we can see them we can touch them we can feel them that's tangible intangible we can't see them but still is a product such as service organization we can't really see it yes yes goodwill reputation so but still is intangible attitude term of quality packaging after sales code durability but the product concept orientation may not based on the market need instead of just so we have a different concept in marketing which we'll go through some next marketing first concept was production you produce more and more and sell the cheaper and customer will be happy then the product you make the product that features and benefits suits the customer then came marketing no you identify the needs and wants and you make the product that then came social you focus on the social marketing welfare of society then came green marketing you focus on the green side of then more focus no ethical marketing yes not involved in the child labor and things huh? so our strategy should reflect all these to achieve our all objective as a organization as a marketing department profit is not just one objective huh? so so just the marketing is the different from the selling selling is short term like example you going uh you been to phone shop and you looking uh, i'm not sure which version is a new phone is it iphone 10 or 11 whatever ah huh? let's say iphone 10 yes so you been and the sh okay. the sale advisor so said come on is iphone 10 is really good for you yes but he or she not mm -hmm. inquire about your need why you need phone yes how often you use phone yes where you use phone yes do you use camera yes a phone do you use for internet yes or what storage 
uh, and all these perp, then you can recommend the right product to individual. Otherwise, you can't. So that's why, as a marketer, we need to identify it. Yes, and then we need to. So here we're looking example of Marks and Spencer during the last recession, which back in 2008-12, reduce the price, focus on the delivery value to customer. There are the company might be a leader in the communication. For example, Coca-Cola company, but because of the love for the product, maybe continue to face the pressure of the revenue growth. Marketing strategy develops for the business and business is run by the organization. So organization strategy is specific to the business that lead the marketing of the product. Tier of the strategy consists of corporate, business, and then functional, which is the marketing is one of the functions. Okay, here we're looking at the corporate, wins, corporate goals, philosophies, mission, all we need to then Functional, we can look around the marketing, all are their functional areas. Okay, corporate strategy is set for VN, for example, IKEA VN, to create the better everyday life for many people. Yes, everyday life. Do we know about IKEA? Yeah. So it's quite big, of course, making furniture key, key products. And company goal is to serve people with the furniture and home furnishing product. So with the philosophy of IKEA work to pro provide product at the competitive price for the majority of people. Based on the my, uh, business strategy is developed by IKEA, having bulk supplier, economies of scale, and setting up the outlet along spending worldwide through joint ventures or franchise. So unless marketing department is not able to ascertain the market potential for target segment, market size, customer behavior, and type of marketing, it may not be possible for IKEA to be achieve the business. Uh, I'm not sure anybody, couple of you maybe know Canadian Milk, which is one of the company in Asia. Back in 1998, they entered uh, in Asian market and especially in India uh, and subcontinent, they flops few. They not really achieved their uh, market first five years. Yes, because people's trend was to buy the milk from the milker. Yes, milkman. So that's, you know, uh, no, not that. Now we are packaging milk. So if you don't do the research, you can't really do it. Huh? Uh, various strategies we can use it to achieve our organization objective, but we have to do research. Huh? Any question? No. Okay. So corporate, corporate strategy is independent variable influenced by the business strategies. Yes, always we need to look around the direction. These are all different definition according to different authors. So when we write, you know, we can add different examples. Next, we're looking the 1.2 development of marketing strategy. How we can develop the strategy? When you do develop strategies, you need to be look around your stakeholders as well. What is meant by stakeholders? We all know. What is meant by stakeholders? The ones that are uh, the most uh, affected by the profit and loss of the company, where they hold the stakes of the company? We can say yes. Stakeholders mean anybody who has any interest or their interest will be influenced. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so okay. that's called stakeholders. So we need to keep in mind the stakeholders. We need to be develop our strategy that fit for the stakeholders expectation. Okay. What we can do for this, we can do analysis. Do we know SWOT, S-W-O-T, yes? S-W is the internal, mm -hmm. which is we can manage like financial. If you're a strong company, we strong 
and outside is opportunities. So they are approaching the maximum fee. So we have a maximum strength and maximum opportunity outside. That's the ideal environment. That's the ideal strategy. Yeah, maxi maxi. But other situation can be WT. Uh, it can be. It can be maxi if your strength ST ST approach can be where we are. We have a strength, but outside is many threads. We need to overcome so we can do franchise and various other business. Yes, through uh, joint venture, and that's the way you know we can enter. So that ST approach. So we comparing internal with external. Uh, OT is external. Uh, that approach can be, or we can sometimes situation can be WT, mini mini, mini mini is not a good situation. It's better to be don't go in that market where we are the V and the lot of threads many it's a lot of competition in the market huh? so the SWOT analysis approach we can apply for the analysis purposes as well huh? so we can do even our individual level for appraisal as well so japanese companies are able to develop the capability do we know what is meant by capabilities and competency is there any difference competency sure. and capabilities do we know what is the difference, please? No, yeah. I don't know actually the difference. Okay. So let's say if you pass your driving test, you're you're a capable, that's why you pass it, yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you pass your driving test, you're a capable, that's why you pass your are you pass your course you're yeah. capable that's why you pass it but newly passed driver in especially in developed countries always have to display the num display the p plate on the car for 90 days because these days we can make the mistake yes so we not competent so competency come with the experience Yes. So these days, employers, every employer don't want your capabilities. They want your competency. There is a method called star method of interview. So if you want to recruit somebody, always they check, you know, the company check. So star stand for situation, T stand for task, A stand for action, and R stand for result. So if you're going for any interview, Somebody can ask you, give me example from your previous background when you've been extra miles from the customer expectation. So you have to tell the situation. You have to tell the task what you've done. You tell what action you took and what re what was the result, end result, what you achieved out of it. Huh? So that's its competency. They want to explore it. So we have here some examples as well, like Amazon, yes. Pricing strategies can't be developed based on the internal calculation. We have to look around external. We have to base on margins. Huh? Okay, which will go through marketing mix, which we discussed earlier, four P's we need to be focused. So different company use four P's concept. Okay, so I included here some case studies, please. So what you can do, you can copy and paste these links and you can read these case, you know, in your time. Huh? Any question? Okay. So which is quite good, yeah. you know. We have a big company, it's called Enterprise Rent a Car, quite fast growing. Uh M way they have a cleaning product and various other various sort of product. It's quite fast growing company as well. It's good to be what marketing strategy they are using. And next we're looking now 1.3 explain how the marketing strategy can contribute the competitive advantage. What is a competitive advantage? What is meant by? Uh, the advantage that you get that gives you an advantage over your competitors? Yes. So think mm -hmm. about, do we use Nike? Nike, yes. Are we buy any product? Mm -hmm. So think yeah. about the value. What shows this? 
why we have a belief on it why we buy this company's product trainers shoes whatever uh? yes many types of so why so is a quality yes comfortable yes what price they have hi yes so we need to be think about they have a competitive is it competitive advantage will stay forever anybody using nokia yeah of course we are using still nokia yes Oh no, I'm not using that. I thought you said if anyone knows Nokia, but uh, yeah, I know Nokia, and uh, I've been using their Android phone sometime like last year. Ah uh, yes, but why we not using now? Uh, you mean why are we using Nokia? Why we don't use Nokia anymore? Maybe yes. because uh, other brands offered, uh, according to the growing uh, world, the needs were addressed more appropriately with yes. the new brands. So they don't have innovation. Yes. Yeah. They have less features. Yes. Less benefits for the customer. Um, so ultimate. Yeah. That was the competitive yeah. advantage in the past. They were world leader, but they're not anymore. Yes. So either we are eighty or twenty, we stop learning, we become older. So we need to be carry on bringing improvement, continuous improvement. Yes. Okay. So the Kotler positioning adopted by the company using the differentiated, undifferentiated strategy. The differentiated strategy is being used by the company by marketing different brands. like coca cola company promoting diet coke yes as well and also mm -hmm. in the uk fuse in china and further the company is promoting big packaging to the family the company try to differentiate the segment and position their product accordingly so different competitive advantage can be yes for different locations so we need to be global consumer are displaying similar characteristics single marketing strategy can be developed however undifferentiated strategy target masses might be fit for the product so we need to be think about can we make one burger mcdonald one everywhere in every part of the world one menu no that's why we have to think globally and act locally so mcdonald in india more veggie burgers yes are different part of the world so we need to be think about the product according to the local culture so then we can create otherwise we can't create the competitive advantage huh? we have to look around we have to adopt the strategies okay we can make the relationship strategy how we can keep a relationship because every new customer if we will get so we can use the transactional marketing which is focus on the transaction and treating as a transaction that's not really a lot of people criticize we need to be focus more on relationship giving the why we need to be keep relationship relationship management in marketing loyalty why we have a loyalty card yes why we have air miles yes air miles points huh? why these companies offering so because every new customer you get that cost us four times more and better to be keep the old customer so we'll go through one rule later on rule is called rule 80 20 per cent customer is buying uh 20% customer other way around 20% customer give us 80% sales 
and 80% customer give us 20% 20% sales how because the loyal customer carry on repeat purchase eh? so that's why we need to be more focused on the relationship marketing eh? any question okay next we need to be look around the market innovation product and development if we don't do innovation like nokia continues traditional handset so we can not sustain in the market so for the sustainability we continue the innovation we need to bring okay service marketing which we'll go through one model is called survey call i call gap model anybody ever study gap model no no okay gap model we need to be focused what gaps we have in the expectation in the eyes in the eyes of the customer and what we deliver there is a gap yes how we can remove that gap how we can go more than the expectation of the client yes we need to be focused like how quick you know that company such a nice price such a distribution channel how well they treat people like to be treated huh? so we need to be really focus on okay one is we are looking here unsub metrics anybody ever heard about unsub has study before unsub metrics okay guys name no, was, really. his name was agor unsub one of the russian mathematician move in america study in harvard business school and he gave this metric is called unsub metric he said he need we can focus on the four strategies one is called market penetration if you're selling existing product into existing market this strategy will be called market penetration really you're not growing it if you selling new product in existing market this strategy will be known as a product development strategy yes you adding more product into product line in the existing market if you selling existing product into new market that will call market development because we making it product why not we sell over the world on the in through internet that will be market development like amazon i think so enter into india and various other part in asia as well huh? so new market and then new product into new market that will be diversification like tesco um, is selling food but maybe they are building houses building bridges in other part of the world so that's the diver so we can look around these strategies for innovation and for sustainability and competitive advantage any question no. okay guys okay let's you know we'll go through the last bit huh? if you want to be work toward the distinction criteria evaluate between the strategic intents assessment choices so we can refer to the 1.1 handouts which is given on uh, moodle as well which i'll go through with you as well huh? so that's we need to be look around strategic long term huh? leaders can make huge difference leadership style and marketing as well we can link to evaluate so repositioning strategies maybe the product same same image repositioning we can look around in the target market or we want different product repositioning or we want intangible repositioning which we said earlier intangible mean service yes or we want tangible repositioning we want to be change the physical product the features and benefit so these strategies we can use to and we will see in a lot of companies are using these conventional strategies planning which is strategic planning entails you know the formation implementation and control process all we need to be work so if you make plan wonderful but there is a no control your strategy won't you continue the review because you need to be carry on doing environmental scanning and through environmental scan scanning you know we can update it yes nothing is consistent forever 
everything revolving changing yes yeah? contemporary issues always we need to be keep in mind okay then uh, i included in your free time please you can copy and paste this link and you can do a bit quiz about the marketing strategies huh? okay okay and you can do in your own time any question anyone so today we discuss about no. today we discuss about marketing strategies should be linked with the corporate strategies we quoted various companies example we said marketing is mean satisfying the need and further we can look around the definition according to cim which is called chartered institute of marketing in uk and ama is called american marketing association if you type on google so those definition good to be look around huh? i copied the link in the first page uh, uh, here so that you can uh, copy this link yes and you can explore further okay so that will help yes so you will see here what is a marketing marketing is a process of identifying anticipating and satisfying the customer needs and wants profitably yeah? yes so all we need to look around marketing or orientation yes product orientation stages is marketing okay. so these are all is quite good to be read please yeah? that also help us to clear the concept yeah? Okay, that's all today, and I hope so. I'll speak to you during our next lesson, and we'll go through L2 learning outcome too. And if you have any question from anyone, please you can drop me email on my email address, anjamatuukversity.co.uk. Thanks for listening and attending, and I hope hope you know speak to you during our next lesson. Thank you. Bye bye.